has it always been a connection to black history, not just from the Americas, but in the Bahamas as well? Yeah, I think so, because the folks that came before me, I don't think they were necessarily setting out to make black history, but I think they always knew that they wanted to see the best, their best selves. And so they did what they could with what they had to excel. So if you didn't have a school, but you had books, you read. You know, if you wanted to create a new business, there's no Walmart in the Bahamas, but you could start with your own small little shop and build from there. So I come from people who were doers, people who didn't sit on the sidelines and say, you know, it would be nice to have this or to do that. They made things happen, which I think absolutely influenced me. So when the opportunity came up to write the first children's book about Tuskegee, the first officially licensed children's book about Tuskegee, I jumped on it. I want to go back to speaking about your aunt and mm -hmm. her tennis uh, endeavor. So, mm -hmm. I believe you wrote here that she is, she was a part of the, a doubles team. Yes. And back in 1937. Yes. <laughs> which was, that was 30 years before the Civil Rights Movement. No question. So, were you able to ever speak to her about what that experience was like? Unfortunately, no. When I was growing up, uh, she was getting up in age and Tuskegee and her athletic prowess. I didn't, I didn't even know much about it until after she died. Okay. Yeah, so when she started reading her bio, and you go, wait a minute, she played at Tuskegee and nobody thought to tell me that? Mm -hmm. But my family's the type of family that's like, listen, I mean, it, it is what it is. We all do some great things. And that was just something that, you know, we didn't really talk about that much. She did it and she was excellent at it. She didn't brag. They're not braggers. You know. So that's not the only thing that she was uh, that she excelled in. That's not the only thing that she was passionate about. Mm -hmm. uh, I see that she was also pretty active. Oh, no question. Uh, women's suffrage movement in the Bahamas. Yeah, so yeah. she was very active in that. Uh, absolutely, very active in that, and trying to make sure that obviously women had uh, the right to vote and equal rights. I mean, she was someone, she was part of, a, I think, a, a generation of, of women who were tough. I mean, they knew what they wanted, and they knew the odds were stacked against them, but that, that didn't stop them. And so they excelled in anything that they put their, their time and resources into, and she was one of those women. And so I sure hope I have some of that DNA in my, in my blood. And, and she, she's got some royalty. <laughs> She was, she was, she was, she was knighted, yeah, she was knighted uh, by Queen Elizabeth II uh, based on her athletic prowess and the fact that she was part of the, the women's suffrage movement there. That was a big deal uh, for the country, and so she was the first woman um, from the Bahamas knighted. Let's get to the book. Um, talk to us about Hate to Ski and how that concept came about. Yeah. That concept came about because I was actually reading a children's book about Rutgers University, you know, probably 11, 12 years ago. And I was reading a book to my son. And I love books like that because it's talking about the university and some of the history and, and some of the fun things that people do on a campus, on university campus. And as I'm reading it, I'm thinking to myself, why don't we have something like this for Tuskegee? And the first thing I said is, they should write one for Tuskegee. Well, as I started thinking about they, they became me because <laughs> why, why wouldn't I take that on? And so I was, um, I was proud to, to really take a stab at it. A lot of folks said that you know, you may be able to write a children's book about Tuskegee, but Tuskegee will never endorse it. Tuskegee will never say, I think this is a great idea and we want to help you officially license the book. But that's what we were able to do. It took some time. It took some time. 
but we were able to get it done because I think we were working with some good people who understood that this book is bigger than just one individual or an administrator. This was something that we were trying to create for Tuskegee folks that we can share in our community and then help spread the word about how unique Tuskegee, Alabama is to American history, period. We know it's black history, but American history, that little small town 